Welcome, this is the energy vibration um, reading for the sun, moon, and rising signs of the Librans. I'm sorry, just something just happened. I want to say thank you for the support that you guys have been giving me. Thank you for the wonderful support, all the situation that is happening around us. Thank you for the positive energies that you have sent to me. Thank you for the wonderful... Um, energy vibration that you sent out to other people all the messages that you left behind uh -huh. all the wonderful possibilities that you have opened up so many doors um, for myself but also for yourself okay so this is wonderful I've changed my location which I am changing up where I do my energy vibration reading which is uh, so good this week is a wonderful week for you guys because it's the week of justice and the week of justice carry the energy vibration of balance this is wonderful because whatever is happening it is saying that there is balance that is coming in your life it's going to be a wonderful positive energy it's going to be a situation that is so positive that it's going to be a wonderful okay i'm sorry um so Okay, this week is your weeks, guys. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful week. I'm trying to do these things and, and a lot of things are happening. So this is what your week is going to look like. It's going to be a week of business. It's all about business. It's new beginnings. Um, there's going to be conflicts, but yet still you're going to see your enemies popping out of the woods. That sort of a thing. Um, whatever is happening, you are actually... Um, in the sense that you're working on a lot of things the devil is in the middle of the week um, a lot of positive energies are here but yet still the devil have the situation with your money so your money is going to be in balance he is in the week he can help you in this week or he can um, work against you but the energy of money is going to be not the role in this week but how to make that money because I'm seeing that you have the 10 of ones in reverse, which is good because it's coming to an end of a burden, an end of a situation where your money wasn't <clears throat> good for some people. For some people, it's just that you're building up on something that is supposed to be something that is going to help you in the outrun in, in, in the future. So this is going to be wonderful. Um, I think of uh, um, people um, seeing where they're going and uh, people know exactly where they're going and how they want to build on their money. Okay. All right. So what is happening here in this week? It's your week. The week and in zodiac energy is water and you have the energy of another water energy, which is the, the energy of the king of cups. So some of you will either be taking on this energy of the king of cups being a bit um, loving so it's as the king of cups or some people will be taking on the sort of energy where you're seeing that you're having a situation with a king of cups it could be the king of cups who is coming up as your enemy so different scenarios could be playing out because it's a, a week of uh, energies that are here for a lot of people so your focus is going to be the energy of the king of cups as I look at your reading, there you have two major arcana and you have the hermit and the devil. <laughs> the hermit and the devil, this is, if I was reading for someone, then the hermit and the devil, this is, this is really saying something here. The hermit and the devil. So on Monday you are having the energy of uh, um, looking inwards for wisdom and guidance on Monday. And it's concerning the energy of the King of Cups. So this could be your boss. A lot of people, you are working for the people who have their bosses who are the King of Cups. There is a situation and you're looking for the inner wisdom, the best way how to deal with the situation and deal with this person. And you will find a way out. You know, you're seeing them in your life as being their, the enemy and working against the enemy and that sort of a thing. But you're seeing that whatever that has happened and whatever situation that has developed between you and this king of cups, it is going, it was a lesson. It was a karmatic lesson. Okay. And whatever karmatic lessons like this happen, 
it is a time when you need to look within to see how you can change certain aspects and certain situations in your life. So this is going to be good. This is going to be positive. Whatever that was affecting you as burden is going to come to an end. So whatever, whatever that was affecting you as burden is going to come to an end. As we move on, I'm trying to see and to figure out because six of ones is good news um, to figure out what is it. There is absolutely no matching energy number for you guys. There is there is absolutely no matching energy number for you guys because there is obviously a lot of karmatic situation that you're cleaning up in this week. And as I've said to you guys, the energy vibration of uh, the uh, zodiac family is coming in the intergalactic family there's a lot of karmatic situation that is happening a lot of situation that is happening so you need to understand who is this and who we're working with what sort of energy we're working with and this is going to be good because it is a wonderful um, situation that is happening so you need to understand where we are and what is happening in our lives so this is going to be just so positive on Tuesday we have the five of uh, pentacles on Tuesday we have the five of pentacles so whatsoever is happening in the the life of these people it's going to be you know very positive because even though you feel down and out about the situation you need to know where you are and the possibilities that needs to be changed and how you can change that good news is coming to you about money Whatever the situation with money is, wonderful, positive, good news are coming in about money. So the hardship that you're feeling with the, pent of, uh, the Five of Pentacles is going to be in the reverse form. As we look at the energy vibration, we have the energy of the devil. The energy of the devil is in the middle of your card reading for this week. The devil is, uh, is, is the power, has the power over your week, but yet still you can change this. The devil is working with a lot of stuff because we begin the week with also the energy of the hermit that is looking within to deal with a situation and the devil comes up. So here I was, I was saying to you guys, and the devil has to do with the blockage of your financial situation. Okay, so whatever that is happening or how your financial situation, it can affect people emotionally. But what I'm seeing here, it's... Um, feeling hardship, hardship that certain aspects, certain financial situation and that sort of a situation that is going on for you. But on the other hand, you're looking at situation and you're understanding how very important this is for you at this time in your life. As we look at Thursday, we have um, the page and this is wonderful whatever is happening, the page of pentacles. So as I've said to you guys, the page of pentacles, and there is going to be information of conflicts coming in with the energy of the page of pentacles, because what is happening here is that this is a vital part and a vital role. So you will be having some people will be, um, the page of pentacles is people between the ages of 18 and 22. Um, it's like the baby sense of who you are. You're just beginning life. You're just understanding. You're just listening to these, reading and understanding that sort of a thing. And you're have co having conflict with money. So if you're between the ages of 18 and 25, you're going to have conflicts with money, with other people around you. And, you know, it is vacation time. So a lot of kids are doing vacation work so that that sort of a thing you will have conflicts with your parents because maybe your parents said save your vacation money to do something and you're buying all these expensive gifts and your parents are not feeling very happy with this so that is the devil working so that sort of a scenario will play out uh, seeing that the, the king of cup is the energy vibration for the week this could be for people who their parents are the queen of cups or the, the king of cups or the queen of cups uh, and this is affecting a situation because the devil is playing because you are you need to save your money to go back to university college or whatsoever but what you are doing is that you are giving out more than you have as we reach friday 
we have the nine of pentacles which is wonderful and I just don't understand why a lot of people do not like these cards but they're so wonderfully put together they always give two scenarios of what is happening and what you can expect to happen there you are the nine of pentacles is happy 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 some people are going out to shop gifts of money is coming in inter inheritance is coming in and that sort of a thing so I love 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 these cards because they give always two signs of Pentacles because the um, of, of information because you can see here that the nine of Pentacles is people going shopping buy new products that that sort of a thing the nine of Pentacles is always when you're getting a huge sum of money gifts of money unexpected money coming in on Friday as we move forward we have the two of sword and the energy of the two of sword is you're not seen clearly but there is going to be a new beginning for you whatever is happening you're not seen clearly because you are being you know blocked off by the devil right at this moment and you're not seen clearly but this situation is going to be there is going to be clarity coming in and um, with this situation this clarity is going to bring you a new beginning in business and new beginning in work so this is going to be good this is actually going to be good. This is going to be a positive, positive energy. As we move forward, we have the Three of Cups. And the energy of the Three of Cups is going to be a wonderful energy because it, there's going to be a huge celebration. So whatsoever is happening, there is going to be a huge celebrating. The energy of the um, Three of Cups is here. And it's going to be a wonderful, exciting time, a wonderful energy. So whatever is happening there is going to be a, um, a judgment but it's going to be good message a celebration and this celebration is going to be extremely positive so here we are la um, ladies and gentlemen um, for the you know the bolt to bolt of this week and what is going to happen whatever your financial situation and burden was on Friday it's going to come to an end it's going to be a very promising week it is a very promising week because there is newness of information coming in where you have the energy vibration of the six of ones the six of ones is a positive energy vibration it is news and this is how I'm seeing what's happening for you guys in the beginning of the week uh, despite of uh, people who are working against you and that sort of a thing that is going to be moved away despite of all of that negative energies and that sort of a thing of people who are working against you good news is on its way and there's going to bring a good new beginning for you as we look at the energy in a in, that is the focus the cubicle over this week it's going to be the energy of the devil and the energy of a devil you have the energy of the four of pentacles and the energy of the four of pentacles is whatever that was on balance whether in your materialistic aspect of who you are how you could manifest um, your financial situation how you could heal your life what you're going to see is that he and this this uh, he can help you in this week but yet still he can work against you so as I gave an example of what you can expect in this week is that you know um, you're working vacation money or you're working extra money and you are using it to do other things uh, and uh, not what you know not to use it for a good cause so uh, that sort of a thing will happen that you have conflicts with other people as we look at the second half of the week, we are having the situation where there's a conflict with um, money. So it's as if, as I said, you're working, you're supposed to be doing something and then this isn't happening, that sort of a thing. But success is going to be um, uh, success, but yet still a celebration of you and an and, and, and end to a situation an end to money problems is going to come to an end so you know sometimes you can be working out certain um, 
cosmic situation with money and how you look at money but you know what is happening here is that you are protecting yourself from outside influence that outside influence could be someone of a water sign that has been vibrating with you but yet still look at it as if you are helping to change these people you liberals and what is happening is that you're going to see whatever the financial situation, whatever the money problem was. And, I, and I'm getting this message for someone out there. If you, if you're if whoever died and left you something, you are going to receive money, an airfiness, a gift from someone who died and left you something. So this week is a week that you are going to receive unexpected money. And whatever for some people is going to be a week uh, celebration because finally, like an insurance payout, finally, and lawsuit you have won a lawsuit finally. But it has something to do with money, it has something to do with the sense that some financial situation was um, dealt with, and finally, you're seeing um, the fruits to your labor that sort of a thing. It can be. Finally, you're seeing that things are working out in a positive way. So, of course, here we are. Here is how we're going to look at this week. In the sense of love, there is going to be wonderful connections, love relation connections. Um, it's going to be positive. Um, it's going to be an extreme positive situation that is happening. Monday is going to be a bit weird for a lot of people because there is a situation that is going on with the King of Cups. Whoever this King of Cups is, be aware because there's a strange situation going on with him. Okay. I am asking the angel, what does the unicorns have for you? Librans. And this is wonderful. This is another magic. And it says there is magic all around you. So excitement, so and so expect excitement and joy. This is wonderful. This is so powerful. This is extremely powerful. I myself, I really love this card, especially when I am doing a reading for myself and this comes up. I know that something unexpectedly is going to happen. Something unexpectedly out the blue is going to happen and it's going to be extremely positive. So there is a magic around you. There is magic around you. This is the most, one of the most beautiful cards in the unicorn deck. And trust me, the unicorns and the fairies always if you're in financial problems, you call upon your unicorns and fairy. Not everyone has them, but sometimes they will bless people who are, you know, like some people are governed or the, the, the fairies. Some people look like fairies. They're from um, the elemental kil kingdom. But I work with the unicorns because I'm an angel. I'm an earth. I, well, um, I come from a planet or I, I've gone through um, this process and I'm back to help so I work with the unicorns because they're the night dimension of beams and I'm from the night dimension so um this is how the unicorns co can come in and help you and it's a, it's positive it's positive people whatever way you look at it it is extremely positive let's see what we have for the ascension cards and we have nature and this is wonderful because we have the unicorns and we have nature and what it says and i just said about the elemental kingdom and i'm sure elemental kin and elemental beams is in this card so um the fairies are here and the unicorns and they're working because i'm going to start using the ascension cards these are the ascension cards and they will tell us who we need and what we need to work on okay what does it say nature i thank bless and love the entire nature kingdom whenever you say this remember the chicken you're going to eat later remember that that piece of steak you're going to eat later you know um thank bless and love the entire nature kingdom because uh, that cow that piece of steak come from the cow and that piece of pork comes from the piece of bee <laughs> yeah what steak um pork comes from the pig 
remember any animal meat, bless them and, you know, before you eat them. What does it say? The nature kingdom was created from the heart of God, the source of creator, if you don't like the word God. The ninth dimension masters, that is the ninth dimension masters, is Pan direct the element. He directs the element beams that support nature. And Archangel Plu, Plu, Plurikum, angel of nature, lovingly holds and protects nature as it energizes you, raise your frequency, and purify and heals you. And this is what I've been always saying to people. Do not laugh at the person who is hugging the tree because she or he or she is cleansing their energy vibration feel and raising their frequency to a higher level of consciousness. So this is good. Your guidance, you Librans this week, is to honor nature's beauty and the life force. If possible, go out into the meadows, forests, mountain, lakes, or rivers, and let nature recharge and balance and yield you. I love of and respect for nature is essential for your ascension and that of the planet. So this is the most wonderful card that I could ever leave you with a message. Remember to bless everything that you eat and bless the nature kingdom. I'm saying to you, I want to say, please like, share these videos. Namaste until next week. Thank you.